Gaming Division. Hey there, welcome to Gaming Division. I am Cameron Today we're going to do a little unboxing for Battlestar Galactica. Ooh. I'm here at Outlaw Moon. Brandon's over there. <laughs> or Fat Albert. Use your personal interpretation. But let's get right into it because I don't have a lot of time. I want to read these rules. So this is Box for Battlestar Galactica. I don't have a knife or anything with me today. But... Sometimes you just rip into your presents like it's Christmas, right? Right? And you throw that over there, but you don't leave it because this is a public place. And certain managers will hurt you, or at least your feelings. All right, so let's go with that new box smell for sound. Oh, it's sticky. Come on. Give me that pop. Ah, oh, there we go. So we'll just put that over there somewhere. So it comes with a nice little plant foot for Imperial Assault. This is quite the advertisement. Oh, so it's a lot of different things. Twilight Imperium, Netrunner, a lot of Fantasy Flight stuff because that's who uh, decided to make this game. You've got your nice, pretty thick rule book. I'm going to enjoy reading this, though, because uh, I watched um, TB and Jesse and Dodger, I think Crindor play this on Tabletop Simulator. Really, really good stuff. Um course we've got our uh, character cards for reference there compared to my head uh, we'll show them off to the other camera so you've got special characters the president of course Galvis, Starbuck uh, the Cylons Chief Adama man it's been a while since I've seen the show so I'm gonna leave that in the baggie um course because it's fantasy flight and a decent game we've got this nice quality cardboard in here Let's get that out of the bag i don't really know what all these bits are i'm assuming we've got cylon destroyers we've got character things uh we've got shits I'm, i think these are for standees if i'm if i'm remembering correctly uh, not everything translates properly in Tabletop Simulator. Let's see what else we got in here. All right, this, I can only assume, is the board. You can see how big this is here. Open present. And then we put it with the rest of our trash that we are going to digitally clean up. Not diligently, not digitally. Words are hard. All right, so I remember this being bigger for some reason, but that's the board. It's four game tiles or whatever. Um, but mostly, it's in a couple different sections. There's the ship. Um, I'm trying to get no glare. We are in a well-lit store, so that's hard. There we go. Um, and then the top bit uh, has all the uh, worker placement for your characters because um, they can go to different places to give different commands and everything and fun stuff. So, for people who like minis and whatnot, or spaceships or whatever, I'm always happy with just little discs, but they went the extra mile. See, here's the little clear standees for the, the cards. Um, you know what? One of them came loose. Let's grab one of those and show you. Cha! So, that's, it's that. It's that easy. It's that easy, people. Um, but we've got... These little black things here, I have no idea what they are. Um, little uh, Cylon destroyers there. Hopefully uh, it comes up on this camera at all. Let's do that. Um, and then they've got the, the slightly bigger ships as well. I cannot remember for the life of me what they're called. But you can see the, the comparative difference there. Uh, there's V8 in here, which is always good to have. Um, and we've got a bunch of cards besides that, so let's put that there. So these, to my understanding, are the, oh, these are different things, event cards, uh, different things. I'm going to have to take a peek at the rules real quick to really note everything, but you are not a Cylon. Uh, oh, so these are roll cards, that's what these are, because uh, the way the game works is that you select a certain amount of Cylons into the pool and a Cylon sympathizer, I think, and you do half of them out at the beginning of the game and half of them at the halfway point of the game. So you will have a Cylon by the end of the game, but at the beginning, maybe no one's a Cylon. 
It could be asleep or silent. Um, okay, yeah, and a lot of these are action cards, and um, the the cards typically, unless they're Cylon cards like that, uh, typically have colors associated with them. Um, and that's what you need. You need a certain amount of red, blue, or yellow, or whatever you can see on the edge. I'm being super clear about that. I hope you can see. Um, all right, and then the last little bit, we have tiny cards, which I, I hate. I've always said I hate tiny cards. And I will never stop hating tiny cards because they're just difficult to manage. Um, so clarification on these cards... The, on the, the left side there, that's what you need. You need, like, in this one, eight yellow, green, or purple. But these are the cards. The tiny cards are the ones you have in your hand that you play, and they are all purple, and they have an action or something, or they're all gray, uh, red, blue, seafoam green, whatever <laughs> you want that color to be. Um so I'll put this here with the rest of this chaos. Um, so I'm going to take a quick look at the rules. I know most of them, but uh, I'm going to come back and finish up. Okay, I got most of that right. The things that I couldn't figure out um, were there are there's a Battlestar ship. No, that's the other thing. Yeah, no, there's a there's uh, there's a Vipers and. Um, Man, whatever the the transport model is, so there are civilian ships that you can uh, throw out the the ports to deal with the Cylons as well. Um, there are also civilian ships that are like little rectangular tri uh, uh, rectangular triangles, yes, um, rectangular tokens. These down here um, that'll also be around Galactica, so you have to try to defend the fleet because that was the purpose of Battlestar Galactica. If you don't know the show, maybe you know a little bit more now. Cylons are uh, robots that learn how to look like humans to uh, try to sneak in and kill us all. So good luck to them. Good luck to you. Uh, I highly recommend this game, Battlestar Galactica. I, it makes for great entertainment. It's a, a very social game. You don't just sit there and move pieces on a board. You are involved. You are constantly maybe lying to each other. And uh, I like semi-cooperative versions. I don't really like lying and bluffing games, but I like semi-cooperative. I like the idea that somebody in the group is working against everyone else, and you have the right to hate them. Um, asymmetry, asymmetry is always good for me. I don't know why, but uh, hey, it is good. I'm here at Outlaw Moon. If you have a chance to stop by while you're in Austin, stop by. They've got great stuff, great selection of games and toys, uh, and of course, the staff is great. Yeah. So, <laughs> Brandon, uh, Looks a little busy over there, so I'm going to go see what's up, and uh, I am Camry. Until next time, that's game over. If you want to see anything else we're up to, go to click the annotations, and they'll take you to our other channels. Thanks for watching.